What is up YouTube? Finally another Zippo video. So today um, I have six Zippos that I'm going to be sending in to Zippo for repairs. Now each one of these Zippos has its own problems except for these two and these two. Well actually technically they're if you want to consider it, they each have groups of two that have pretty much the same exact problem. Um, I'm not going to actually go into exactly what until I go through them, but now that I think of it, um, pretty much each, every two of them has a very similar problem, which I didn't think about until just now. But anyway, I will go ahead and admit these two black ones have the exact same identical problem and I've only noticed this problem with newer Zippos, and I don't exactly know why, but I will admit this Black Crackle 1941 is notoriously worse with that problem to the point where I can't even use it, and I will go into that in a minute. But we'll start off with this old Jim Bean lighter. This lighter actually does not even belong to me. This was my sister's, and she sent this up with me after Christmas um, because she purchased it. But um, as you guys can see, um, actually now that hinge pin is falling out and I can probably, yep, sure enough, I can pull the hinge pin out. I was trying to do that in the first take of this video and uh, it wasn't going so well and the lid will just come right off. And as you can see, there's not really any fixing that hinge pin or hinge loop right there. I mean, I could probably fix those if I really wanted to, but I don't have any needle nose pliers with me at the moment. But as you can see, that one is actually crushed completely flat. If it'll focus. There we go. That one is crushed completely flat. So that is going to be um, the one that is arguably in the worst condition out of all these lighters. And I'm going to try to put this back in there. There we go. However, that is kind of interesting that you can just put the hinge pin back in and back out and stuff like that. But anyway, it, this one I can't remember. I think she got it for like a dollar at a flea market or yard sale or something in this condition. So, I mean, one dollar for a Zippo. Even if it's broken and needs to be sent in for repair, it's worth it, to be honest, for a genuine Zippo. However, it is very worn and very used. Whoever owned this um, must have liked it quite a bit because you can see where brass is wearing through in spots of this lighter. That's the first one. The next one, which also is related to a hinge, is the what I call the Hillbilly Zippo, which is the Zippo from 1998, I believe, is the Roman numeral January of 1998. And this one, someone decided to put some kind of hook through here or um, piece of metal to continue it, to use it, and uh, just bent it. And honestly, that just doesn't look good. I mean, I again, this is another one that I probably could fix, but I'd rather not risk breaking it or screwing it up or scratching the um, patina. On it, and actually, I just realized something. This thing says solid brass, which I did not even notice when I first made this video, guys. Can you see that? Hold up. Yeah, there you go. Solid brass. I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Anyway, so this Zippo, you know, it's used, it's been used for probably 20 years or more. So that's why this one has to be sent in just to get a new hinge pin. Um, other than that, it doesn't really need any other work, but um, I find that very interesting that you can still read a little bit of the solid brass um, on this because I honestly didn't even think that said anything. As a matter of fact, back when I made the video on this lighter, um, I didn't even notice that. So you learn something new every day. Now this one, I'm sure if you've been with my channel for a while, you remember this one when it was brand new. Um, back in 2015 when I first got it, this is my original solid brass armor 
from D of 12, which is the same month and same year as Owen Dowell's Zippo um, solid brass armor. This one came out of a smoke shop in Fredericksburg, Virginia, back when I lived up in Virginia, only about um, 20 minutes out of Fredericksburg. But um, I have since moved to North Carolina. But um, this one just has a hinge that is so loose that um, I wouldn't be surprised if I kept playing with it like on Zippo Fanatic's live stream. The lid just would fly off if I had to guess. But um, the insert does work still, so that's nice. Um, some of these other ones that I'm going to get into, like that one in particular, the insert really does not work, and I've tried to fix it with everything that I possibly can, and it still doesn't work. So that one's just getting sent in um, for a new insert pretty much and to get the hinge tightened just a little bit. But um, this was my favorite and probably my longest EDC Zippo that I had at the time. But um, as you guys might know, or well, you probably don't know, I actually lost this for almost three whole years. Um, it was inside of a box, and the box fell down behind a bookshelf, and I did not know where it was until we actually moved to another location in Virginia, and I literally thought that, oh, well, I guess I just lost this thing outside somewhere, and I would never, ever see it again. Luckily, I didn't, because when I was packing up stuff, I found the box behind there, and I picked it up, and it felt like there was something in there. I opened it up, and sure enough, this Zippo was sitting in there. So, I got really lucky. Now, the next Zippo is the Black Crackle, my original Black Crackle, which is a K of 16. This is one that I purchased directly from Zippo at their museum in Bradford, Pennsylvania, when I went up there in 2017 to visit them. Now, I will show you, technically it has two problems, actually. One, it does have a very loose hinge, and two... No spark. Well, there's a tiny spark, but um, when it is fueled, um, it will not light. I will. I literally have to sit there doing this as much as I wanted, and uh, it wouldn't light. So for whatever reason, on newer Zippos, I've noticed I've gotten a couple where this happens, where it just doesn't want to throw out a spark. So pretty much the only thing wrong with this one is it needs a new insert. And again, I don't know why. I don't know if it's a quality control issue um, Zippo's having or not. But um, the 2020 Zippos, none of the 2020 Zippos that I've gotten uh, have that issue yet. Um, we'll have to see as uh, the years pile on after 2020 if uh, they still have that issue or not. But um, this one is just so bad to the point where I've literally stretched out the spring and uh, rerouted the wick, trimmed the wick several times to, you know, try to make sure that um, it wasn't a wick issue, wasn't a flint issue, anything like that. But um, it just, it's the flint wheel. There's nothing that I can do with that Zippo. This one is pretty much one that I just threw in last minute. This is my replacement I of 13 um, solid chrome armor that has also kind of a loose hinge. Now this one really I can fix, but again, I don't have needle nose pliers, so I'm just gonna go ahead and send it in. But um, it is kind of loose, but that's the only thing. The insert still works perfectly fine. But as you can see, that's what the spark should look like. And the last one is this one, which is another replacement Zippo that I bought personally because I gave my cousin my original Black Crackle from, uh, I think, 2014. And uh, he wound up uh, tearing that one up, I think, once or twice and sent it in, and he still uses it to this day because Zippo fixed it for free. But um, this one is actually filled because... This is going to be the um, pretty much the test whether or not I actually send this one in. So 
you know the Black Crackle 1941 has that same issue. This one's insert has that same exact issue, but it's not quite as bad. But I'm thinking even if it lights first try, I'm going to send it in anyway after I let the fuel evaporate overnight. Because um, with my luck, I'll send all of these Zippos in, keep this one, start using it, and then it'll get just as bad, if not worse, than the uh, Black Crackle 1941, but, oh, okay, so it lit, but it took a few tries. I mean, to most people, that's that doesn't really bother them, but as you can see, it like, it, it it's like half and half, which is weird, because that's how this Zippo was for a while, the Black Crackle 1941. It would do the exact same thing, but then it just got so bad to the point where it wouldn't even light. Oh. So, as you can see, it does actually have an issue with the flint wheel, which is the same. I've also, with this one, stretched the flint wheel, or flint, not flint wheel, stretched the flint spring out. Um... Also trim the wick as well, which you can't really see, but that is a fresh wick. Um, that's the first time filling it, and God only knows how many years it's been since I filled the Zippo. Again, I kind of just put it to the back burner once that started happening, like the Black Crackle 1941, just because I was like, well, I don't want to deal with it, but now I finally can. So these are all the Zippos that I am sending in. For various reasons. So, if you like the video, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps. Um, I kind of rambled a lot in this video, which I apologized for, or apologize for. Um, but anyway, that's going to be the video. Um, hopefully, in about a month or two, I will have these back, and they will all be fixed. Um, another quick note, if you are sending Zippos in and, like, you have a working insert that actually looks decent used, um, be sure to write them a note if you do decide to send your inserts in, um, to send the old inserts back along with the new ones because normally they just throw them out. So that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.